What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick Hockey here. I'm back with another video and yeah, I'm wearing the same thing as I did in a video I just recorded. Um, I don't know if I'm posting them back to back, but let's be real here. I'm going to be honest with you. I just recorded another video right after I finished <laughs> recording another one. So um, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about goalies that could start the season as a team starting goaltender in the NHL, but then by the end of the season, I either lose their position or get traded or something like that. But more or less, who which goalies I think could be a starter and then, you know, lose their spot to the backup or somebody else taking over because of, you know, bad play. So, um, I've got my paper here. It's going to be a little bit scrambly in this video. I'm going to try my best to, you know, make sure this video is as good as possible for you guys. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Um, we're past 1,000 now. I'd love to get to 2,000, so let's see how quickly we can get there. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Yes, I'm talking to you. If you're new, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you're still here, subscribe. Thank you very much. So we're going to get right into this. So i seen this conversation in the Hockey News Pool Guide, and is the focus still good? Okay. Um, and I was really, I was really kind of taken back because I'm like, why would somebody talk about that? But then I'm like, you know what? This would be a good video to talk about because I want to hear what you guys think. I'm trying to do more videos where it's more conversational, where it's like I can make this video and you can make a video response. You could tweet me or you could comment, and I will be doing a Q&A very soon. So. Uh, don't comment on this video, but I will be making a video where you can comment. But that's for another thing. But I wanted to have more conversation with you guys. So, the Hockey News Pool Guide um, mentioned this question. And these are the goalies that they figure uh, may lose their starting job. So, first off, they said Hen one of them said Hendrik Lundqvist. Um, first of all, that's not going to happen. Ranta's gone now, so there's no way that's happening. Um, Scott Darling... Um, Grice from the Islanders um, and two people said Robert Lehner uh, and Varlamov so those are the hockey news picks and again this is just a random question that's not them saying oh it's bound to happen it's just a conversational piece and I decided I was gonna make a video on it so like I said I can't see Lundqvist uh, losing his job to Pavlich because he's the or Pavlik who like how do you pronounce his name properly I've heard it five different ways and I'm I just want it to be correct so let me know but I always said Pavlich or Pavlik so he's the backup now and he's had a little bit of a rough go as of late so he's the backup now I don't think Lundqvist is losing his job so forget that um, the next guy I wanted to talk about is Grice, and his backup is Halak, so I can't see that either. So um, I don't. I'm not sure why. Maybe if he loses his job, there's a trade or something like that. Because I also don't see him as a full-time starting goaltender. I, again, Islanders fans might get mad at me, but that's just how I feel. And I'm going to mention this real quick. Um, I played goalie pretty much my whole life, so I study goaltenders a little bit differently, and uh, you know, a lot more up close. That doesn't mean I'm a goalie expert. It's just I like talking about goalies because that's the position I played and is a position I studied. I'm just a big fan of the game and goaltending. So this is just an opinion from a goalie perspective. I'm not a, an expert. Um, so Grice and Lundqvist. Grice maybe if there's a trade, but Lundqvist for sure, no. Uh, Leonard Johnson is now the backup in Buffalo and... I think Buffalo wants to give Laner a, a shot again at really being a starter. Me personally, and I don't want to hate on the guy, but I think he's a little bit of a hothead. And I don't know if that kind of affects his game sometimes. Because we've seen a couple times where he looks really like shaky at the beginning of the game. And he starts to get really frustrated, whether it's with his team or himself or whatever. And then he just loses it for the rest of the game and he looks terrible. Uh, he almost got in a fight with his coach, so... Uh, I don't know about that, but I think he's capable of being a good goaltender, but at the same time, with Johnson being the backup, I can't see him taking over either, but it is possible if a trade had to happen because Buffalo wants to take the next step. He's a guy that either could get moved or replaced, uh, but he could also completely shut me up and be pretty good this year. Uh, the next guy I wanted to talk about was the Canucks. Or sorry, the next team I wanted to talk about was the Canucks. So, 
Uh, like I said, I'm just throwing goalies out here because I want to know what you guys think. Uh, this isn't to say that these are the goalies I singled out just because I wanted to. These are just teams I looked at and said, ah, it's possible. So the Canucks, they have Markstrom and Nielsen. Uh, I I don't think either of them are ready to be starters. I, I seen Markstrom live. He didn't look very good. Um, Nielsen, I don't think he's ready either. But I, I wouldn't consider them like a starting goaltender. I think they'll split time. Um, Winnipeg with Mason and Hellebuck. I think that Mason is their short-term answer. And Hellebuck is somebody that they want to take over. So if Mason is the starter and Hellebuck takes over, there's a good chance that is the only chance so far that I could really see a goalie taking over and uh, maybe Mason loses his spot at the end of the season. I know that Winnipeg Jets fans would like to see Hellebuck get better and take the next step. Um, the next one I wanted to talk about was Smith uh, with the Flames. Now, he's the guy that I think they're going into the season saying, he's a starter, we need to make sure he does good. But if he starts to fall off a little bit, Eddie Lack is their backup now. And Lack is a decent goaltender. I think that he has a chance to, you know, be a starter. And if they feel Smith isn't getting the job done and Lack can step in and do a good job, Smith is a guy that could possibly lose his starting position. Uh, so that's that's a thing right there. Another pair that I was kind of unsure about, like Mason um, and Hellebuck, is Luongo and Reimer. Who is the starter? Realistically, you look at it and say, yeah, Luongo. But towards the end of the season, Reimer um, ended the season pretty hot with back-to-back -back shutouts. And Luongo himself said, Reimer has been giving them the best chance to win. And I, I don't know. Whoever starts the season, they could flip-flop and split time. I think they're an underrated tandem. I think Luongo is still capable of winning games, and so is Reimer. Another tandem I wanted to bring up is Elliott and Neuverth. I think if Elliott does what he did in Calgary and starts to really play bad, Neuverth could step in and just play stopgap because the Flyers are going to have to get a goaltender that can actually, you know, help them win games. Um, maybe a change of scenery will help uh, Elliott and maybe Neuverth will have a little bit um, less playing time and that'll help his numbers possibly. But I think Elliott has to step up. This is his, like, I wouldn't say his last chance, but he kind of has to prove himself. The Flyers are an up-and-coming good team that could compete. They almost made the playoffs last year. Um, it wasn't ridiculously close, but they were pretty close. And um, I guess Elliott could be a guy that could lose his job, too. Um, Ranta and Deming, I know that Coyotes fans are excited for Ranta. Deming is a guy that they've been trying to, you know, come on, let's go, like, take over. Uh, I, he's not ready to do that, and he hasn't. So Ranta, I don't think he's going to lose his job, but if Deming can step it up, you never know if Ranta falls off a little bit. Um, that could possibly happen. Uh, another one on here, Varlamov, like one of the hockey news writers says, Bernier's the backup. Colorado's rebuilding. Unless they trade him, I, I can't see this happening. Bernier would have to play out of his mind to take over Varlamov's spot because I, I think even if Varlamov is, you know, playing decent, they're going to keep him in the net because if they feel they have to trade him to continue the rebuild, they want to keep his stock up and have him play a bunch of games and hopefully play pretty uh, good for them. Uh, I'm trying to go through this list to see who else. Oh, the guy I really wanted to talk about was uh, Darling on Carolina. They picked him up from Chicago. Um, was it Chicago? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Chicago. Uh, they wanted to make sure that they had a, you know, number one option because I think they're okay with letting Ward be the backup, and I think Ward is okay with that as well. I think Darling is really going to have to play uh, pretty good. I know I've seen a lot of people saying that, um, you know, Darling may not be ready to be that starting guy because he's been kind of protected by a great team. Uh, on, you know, unfortunately, the hockey news and some other places have kind of gone after him a little bit saying, hey, you know what, I don't think he's ready. I would love to see him succeed because he's a great guy. I've heard some stories about him off the ice. I believe like one time he even like fixed a fan's tire or something like that um, in a rainstorm or something like that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was him. But uh, with Ward being the backup, you're, like Carolina fans can, can probably say, listen, Ward can take over. And obviously management and coaching would be like, hey, Ward can take over if Darling's not playing very good. So 
he's a guy that could end up losing his starting gig and Ward could take over the starting gig again. So um, that's probably the guy I wanted to talk about uh, the most because I'd like to see him succeed, but at the same time, I'm not sure that he can hold on to it unless he plays very consistently the whole season. So, um, yeah, I think that's all the guys I want to talk about. Sorry, I'm just reading this list here to make sure I did not miss any names. It looks like I have talked about all of them. Again, if your favorite goalie and your favorite team are listed here, sorry, i got to keep checking the focus, guys. Um, if your favorite team or your favorite goalie was listed on here, I'm not talking smack about them. This is just another conversational piece. Uh, I like goaltenders. I, I think It's one of my favorite parts of the game because I was a goalie, like I mentioned. And I just wanted to bring this up to have a conversation with the hockey fans, with the goalie fans, to see who's a starter and who could possibly lose their job by the end of the season. And you're probably looking at guys like Robert Lehner, um, possibly Darling. Uh, I guess if Reimer or Luongo starting, that could flip-flop. You never know. Um, Markstrom, if they figure he's the is the starter. Smith, if they figure he's the starter. Let me know what you guys think. That's the great thing about these conversational videos. I want you guys to have feedback. Make a video. Tweet me. Whatever you want to do. Um, you know, let's just uh, have fun here talking about hockey. That's what we're here for. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Go support other YouTubers. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.